All right, guys, here's 4K at 60 FPS from the iPhone XR, the much anticipated, beautiful cameras that I knew this phone would have. This quality is obviously the same as all the new iPhones, and it is absolutely on point. No need for a long, drawn out video here. Just a quick sample. Look at how beautiful that is. And like the uh, other iPhones, this front camera can record in 60 frames per second. So I think this is really cool. I'm just holding, giving you some shaky cam. Uh, but this thing is absolutely gorgeous on the front camera because they, they allow it to do 60 frames per second. So if you wanted to have some kind of vlog or something, you would do fantastic with this uh, device. Don't mind my messy office. It's a mess back there. Yeah, don't mind that. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So by the time you watch this, I've had this phone for at least 24 to 36 hours. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and get you an updated video on this thing and uh, let you know how I feel about the product red or just the iPhone 10R. Now, the 10R is a phone that a lot of people, it's got to be one of the most controversial uh, iPhones that I've ever come across. Uh, but let's take this case off and see which case I'm rocking right here at the moment. One of my favorites by Incipio. So this red here, this red is absolutely great. Um, I really like how deep this red is. It's different than the product red um, iPhone. It's a little bit different than the product red 8 Plus, uh, but I like how it's got like a, a combination of the latest iPhones, if you will. You got the sides of one, the back of another, the front of another. Uh, it's just, a, it's an all around sweet looking phone, man. I'm glad I got my product red. Uh, I was able to order this with no problems uh, and um, I just think it's going to be a really nice phone. So the first thing I did was I got it all set up the way I have every other iPhone set up. I have them all set up the same. Um, this is running the latest operating system, I believe. No updates or anything came out of the box with this one, uh, but it is very well um, smooth, even with that three gigs of RAM. No problems with it. Um, some people felt like it would have um, some issues with lag and things like that. Um, I didn't really anticipate that. Uh, I felt like this is just another iPhone. iOS runs pretty smooth on everything. Uh, and, um, you know, there's really nothing different here. Everything is going to be the same. You're just running it on different hardware, which is the latest hardware, I might add. This has the same camera setup uh, and the same processor as the other two iPhones that release. But I still feel like this is the new iPhone. This is the iPhone to get. You can get this phone for $750, and that is a really good deal coming from Apple because we know how their pricing is. So later on, this is obviously going to be used daily with a lot of other phones in rotation. Uh, but uh, let me show you what it looks like next to the Pixel 3. A lot of you guys wanted to know that, so I'll show you. I'm not gonna get into this deep size comparison of, of phones, but some of you guys asked about this immediately. And then if you guys have the, I remember telling you guys if you had the iPhone 6S, which you know I still have one, this is how it's going to look, and this is the difference in size and what you're upgrading to. So you're getting a nice boost in size. If you have a current iPhone 6S or iPhone 7, uh, you're getting a nice size boost, and you're also getting a nice big screen compared to what you normally will have. You do lose your Touch ID and everything, but um, uh, you still have all the latest functionality uh, of uh, iOS and what they have to offer. Now, as far as uh, Android goes, stock Android, you're actually, you're actually looking at a Pixel 3 or a Pixel 3 XL. These are going to be the phones that people really want to compare to and decide whether or not they're going to switch uh, to and from Apple. Uh, Face ID and everything looks really sweet on here. No problems with it. Um, I just... I think this is just going to be another smooth Apple experience with no if, ands, or buts. Uh, as you can see, I already applied my tempered glass uh, by um, Pure Gear, so be sure to check that video out. They also sent over a case too. I think it's really cool. Uh, they sent this one over too. To, uh, to, uh, well, not today, but they sent it over a while back. Uh, but yeah, man. Um, it is uh, definitely a phone that I think is going to do very well amongst the masses. Some people are saying, oh, you'll get better deals along this time of year. I think this phone is just going to sell regardless. I don't think that they're going to have a problem moving these units, not with all the colors that they released all at once 
other OEMs take notes. You know, Apple finally got it right this time and released all of the colors at one time. As far as the cameras go, once again, um, I'll show you some samples on the way out or on the way in. You already saw them. I don't know where I put it in the video, uh, but um, I just got to say, this phone is uh, looking pretty sweet, man. I don't uh, have any complaints at this point. I've been pretty happy with it. Uh, it's a nice size, a little wider than um, I expected it to be. Uh, but in fact, it is really nice. Everything syncs up and pairs up well. I like this look with this phone. Uh, there is something in here that's kind of kind of strange that they gave some different uh, they give some different wallpapers shout out to the pixel squad they gave some wallpapers that are not offered in all of the phones so if you go to here to stills you get the red uh, one that i'm using right here and you can see all the colors of all the different iphones are actually offered in here so if you have one of the iphone 10 rs um, you'll have one of these colors right here and then down here you can see they have all these here for the iphone 10 r so that i think that's pretty cool some exclusive wallpapers to the 10r line these top six here are not available on every iphone so um you see here they give you all those ones that is normally available uh that was unavailable on the newer iphones if you go to dynamic you, this is all you see here so there you have it man just wanted to um show you some uh I'll give you an update on my iphone 10r this is actually a pretty nice phone man um and I really appreciate um, being able to grab it on day one and get it, you get to using it. I do have lots of cases and things for this still coming in, so be sure to check those out. Uh, but it's your man, Jay Will, Product Red, unboxing and first impressions. This is gonna be a really good device. I just don't think that it's gonna be one that's not gonna do well amongst the masses. Everyone talked about the screen, saying, oh, it's a, it's a 720p. Come on, folks, read the, we read the fine print. We've been through this a thousand times. It's not a 720p display but you are all you want having it in hand you are not going to be able to tell the difference some people say all oh, the borders are too big you guys are getting way too petty with this before when phones had big screens on the big top and bottom no one complained just go with the direction of the industry because this is where it's going you're going with the, you're going to have the 18 by 9 ratio now and you're going to have um you're going to have uh this type of design from apple so um you know you do the math on what you want to follow or how you like it it like that <laughs> message just came in it's going to be your cup of tea it's your man j will product red unboxing for you guys but um uh, uh, 24 hours to 36 hours all in the same video i'll see you guys in the next one take care